I just found a super cool website that allows us to create awesome, classic looking dungeon maps in a matter of minutes. So if you're familiar with my channel, you know that I want to encourage as many people as possible to take up the hobby of drawing maps. A lot of people say they have no drawing ability and while well, I completely disagree with the notion that you have to have drawing ability to make a cool map, I understand that sometimes it's easier to go to a website that helps you than it is to break out a pen and uh, a piece of paper. So that's where Dungeon Scrawl comes in. I've had this website bookmarked for a long, long time and I have just neglected to really check it out until recently when I needed to make a map super fast. I popped open Dungeon Scrawl and was surprised at how easy and quick it was to block out a, a dungeon map in no time. So let's pop over to the computer. I'll show you some of Dungeon Scrawl's features and we'll make a quick map so you can see how it all comes together. So when you open up Dungeon Scrawl, this is the screen you'll be looking at. As someone who uses Photoshop a lot, I'm instantly comfortable with this layout, but I understand that that can also be very intimidating. So let me say off the top that even if this looks complicated to you, you can spend 20 minutes just messing around and you'll totally get the idea of how all this stuff works. The tools are super intuitive and there's a great guide on the site that will help as well. But here, let me give you a quick overview of what we're looking at so everything makes a little bit more sense. So this little narrow toolbar on the left hand side are your drawing tools. There's a rectangle tool, a pathway tool, a polygon tool, doors, and stairs and a couple other things. These are all the tools that you'll be using to draw the dungeon. So a rectangle will make a rectangular room. The pathway makes paths in between rooms. The polygon tool allows you to click and make straight lines or you can click and hold down and draw your own shapes. Like I said, just open up a new blank map and play with these tools and you'll get the hang of it no problem. The other cool thing is there are tons of familiar shortcuts. So if you want to scroll around the map, you can just hold down space bar and it'll change your cursor into a little hand that you can drag around. You can hit control Z to undo stuff. You can hit E for eraser so you can actually remove areas from the dungeon that you've drawn. Definitely check out the list of shortcuts that they provide up in the help menu. So down in the bottom right there is the layers menu. This works exactly like Photoshop. You can add new layers, rename them. There's a couple of opacity and blending mode tools and there's even a text layer. You can add all kinds of text stuff to your map as well. And then above the layers is the sort of adjustment menu and this is all the cool stuff that you can adjust and manipulate on each layer to kind of make the drawing look more how you want it to look. So you can change the color of of the background of each layer and the line art. You can adjust the grid if it's there or how thick or thin the lines are. The important thing to remember is that the changes you make in this adjustments panel only happen for the layer that you have selected. So the adjustments for the background layer are a little bit different than the adjustments for the dungeon layer and so on. My suggestion is to just mess around with the different sliders and click on all the little tabs and see what everything does and you'll get the hang of it in no time. One super cool feature that I do want to mention is that there is the ability to mess with the roughness of the outlines and the grid. So not everything has to be straight solid lines. You can kind of mess with it and it looks a little more hand drawn, which I think is a big, big plus to creating a map on the computer. And then lastly, up at the top, there is the file edit and view menu. Clicking on file will give you a bunch of options for saving your map. Edit, I don't have no idea what that does, but in view, there are a bunch of UI type features that you can play with. And one really cool thing is there is an isometric mode. So you can make a totally flat map and then click it over into isometric and you have something that maybe you could print out and trace over and make a really cool isometric style map. Lots and lots of really cool stuff. Hopefully this quick rundown has shown you that it's not as complicated as it seems at first glance. And just to further show you how quick and easy Dungeon Scrawl is, uh, let's make 
a dungeon map. So this month's Patreon adventure, I wish I had the name figured out. I'm, I'm stuck on the name of this adventure, but it's gonna be a dungeon crawl through the sort of underground lava magma area. So without giving too much of the story away, there is this giant magma tortoise that lives in a lake of lava and there's a group of ember trolls that are starting to cause problems. They used to be peaceful, but now they're not, and it's a little confusing. It may have something to do with the darkness below, who is the big bad evil guy of this campaign setting that I'm creating. I already have this adventure all written out, minus a couple of details. I know all the rooms that I need to make. So while it does kind of seem like I'm just drawing random cavernous rooms, there is sort of a plan to it as well. As you can tell, I'm not really using the rectangle tool. This is supposed to be like a underground lava cave. So I'm just using the polygon and path tool to draw these irregular shaped cavernous rooms. And the really cool thing about working on the computer like this is that it's super easy to change things if I don't like something, erase or delete a room. You can control Z stuff, undo things. That's always super helpful. Now, will this map be in the final zine? No, it won't. But I'm definitely going to use this as a guide to redraw the map that will go in the final zine. You know, even trace over it, make it look like my typical hand-drawn map style. And really this is because even though Dungeon Scrawl has a lot of cool tools like being able to rough up the line work and make the grid a little more hand-drawn looking, no matter what you do it's very clear that the maps you make on Dungeon Scrawl are made on the computer. And they lack the hand-drawn feel that I think is so important because when you hand draw a map, it just makes it feel like an object that could be found in your fantasy world where there's not computers and websites that make maps for you. So now that I have the dungeon all put together, I'm going to use the adjustment tools above the layers panel to mess around with some of the colors and change up the look of this map. Initially, I was trying to get it as fantasy map hand-drawn looking as possible, but in the end I went with my favorite style, the light blue grid on white with nice thick black outlines. In fact, I think this looks pretty similar to a video I did a few weeks ago about making hand-drawn maps at the table super quickly. And actually that sort of reminds me of the last super cool feature that I'll talk about with Dungeon Scrawl. So of course it's very important to file save the map file so you can load it back into the website and keep playing with it. But you can also go file export and then there is an option to export as a PDF and you can make your cell size one inch or I guess maybe 25 millimeters for that scale of miniature and then select your paper size. So I print out on letter size paper eight and a half by 11 and then you draw a box around your map and it automatically downloads a PDF of the map that is broken up into printable pages. You just send it to print and then you can piece your entire map together with multiple sheets of paper. I just think that is so stinking cool. You know, you can build a little dungeon for one play session, print it out and then add to it the next session and print more out and pretty soon you'll have a giant mega dungeon worth of printouts. And even though I think using these maps in a virtual tabletop is awesome, the ability to print them out and use them at the table is like just super the coolest. <laughs> so all in all, it only took me 16 minutes to create this dungeon map and a lot of that time was messing around with the colors. So I have to say if you're in a time crunch, you got a game that you're prepping for and you only have 15 minutes to get your map ready, Dungeon Scrawl might be a pretty excellent option. I'll put a link down in the description to Dungeon Scrawl so you can check it out, play around with it. Don't be intimidated by all of the menus and stuff. It's, it's very, very easy. I promise if you spend just 15 minutes playing with it and another 15 minutes after that you can have an awesome dungeon map. If this month's Patreon adventure that I made this map for sounds cool, the lava cave with the magma turtle and the ember trolls, check out my Patreon. I have new monthly tabletop role-playing game 
adventure zines that I ship directly to you. There's a digital version as well. That sounds interesting, check it out. Check it out if you just wanna support the channel too. It really, really helps me spend the time to make these videos. Let me know what you think of Dungeon Scrawl and making maps on the computer versus hand drawing the maps down in the comments. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.